our flag means death. Okay, so what made you want to become a pirate and come on board the ship? <laughs> uh, the creator, the show creator, David Jenkins. Um, he and I worked together on a show about aliens that no one knows about, People of Earth. It was like an underrated show that I loved, and I loved working with him. So it was the creator that wanted me, uh, or wanted me to come on board and made me want to come on board. Um, and I didn't think I was going to connect with the material, to be honest. Um, but it's a love story, and I connected more than I have with almost anything I've worked on. I love that show so much. I was so inspired musically to, with that show. Actually, interesting. you led to my question. So if you have that situation where you're not connecting, so you do have to find something you can connect dramatically to the story to yeah. actually do the music. Oh, yeah. I think you do. Um, and like I said, I didn't think I would connect to it, but it's probably one of the shows I've connected to the most, I think, because it was just such a pure love story. Um, and the actors were so good and then I fell in love with every character in there yeah but yeah you do have to connect I do I have to emotionally connect to the story and the characters to be able to listen effectively um, and represent yeah so uh, if you do if you're scoring the whole series let's say multiple episodes which is that case do you want to know the arc of the story or do you want to focus on each episode because you know because you want to think like what is the audience supposed to be in this place I don't want to know if the character dies for example yeah, no. Well, also, I, I don't score, I, I select the, the songs. Oh. Yeah, so I'm like, I'm in charge of the soundtrack. Um, I want to know the arc, yeah, and I and, and where it's going, yes, because you don't want to, because I, I think with scoring, it's a little different because you're hitting narrative beats. With songs, you're, um, it's bigger moments. So like, mm -hmm. you know, like, if I know their love story, where it's going towards the end of the season, I'm going to and I know I'm going to go big in episode eight. I want to pull back a little bit in two and three to like so there's room to grow. So now Fargo is a slightly different tone than Flag. But what was the emotional connection for Fargo? Mm, that's a good question. Um, Fargo, you're more connected with the material for me at least, less to the characters and more to the story and um, the world, uh, if that makes sense. Because um, I think it's more of it's not as intimate. It's more of a style and a fable and a um, and a vibe. So I connect to the to the totality of it and the world that we've created, um, which is very energizing and inspiring too. Just very, it's just different. It's not. Um, it wasn't. I. Yeah, it was this this season in particular. There wasn't really a love story. I guess I connected to the rage and anger uh, of Juno Temple's character. Mm. Yeah. And then now, you, now you're also doing The Great. Yeah, yeah the, the Great has been canceled. I know, I'm so bummed, because I love that show. I love that uh, but I was working with Tony uh, McNamara, who was a, who was a very unique visionary. Yeah, he's brilliant. I love him. I love him. He's a kind, kind man. And um, really, God, every time I got a script, I would be super excited to read it. <laughs> he's such a good writer. So is Noah, and so is David. I mean, I, I'm very fortunate that the people I work with are phenomenal writers. Um, Tony uh, is very collaborative. Like he really let me do my thing, which was very generous and um, and kind of him. And he was also super respectful. That whole crew was great, and it started from the top. Tony and Mary and Mac, uh, Mary and McGowan, um, they ran the show, and everyone was very respectful. Every everyone was kind, very collaborative, and it was uh, a unicorn of a show as far as the content and what we created. But then also behind the scenes was just really special. Now you also have your own deep cuts where you have your own women uh, independent. Uh, what what is that? What did, why do you create that? What has that given you as a freedom as an artist? Uh, I don't. I, a team that I love. Uh, I mean, it's nice to have. I only have two employees. It's just the three of us working on our shows, but um, I I adore them and we really support each other and and work really hard on what we do. And it, it's like it's us against everyone, you know, like not against, but working for everyone. But we we really have each other's backs. Well, yeah. it's a very isolating world. Sometimes the industry can be very isolating. So it sounds like having a partners and teams, even if they're not working on the same project as you, just kind of like notes or encouragement. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it just, yeah, if, God, if I, it is isolating. I work from home. We, all three of us work from home. One is in L.A., I'm in Austin, and then um, one is in Portland. Um, if I didn't have them next to me, I would not be able to do this. Like, the support, the compassion, the encouragement, the ideas, the creative, like, someone to just, like, bounce ideas off of, and then someone to just also, like, talk to after a hard meeting, you know? Like, just, yeah, it's just support. <laughs>